Hey guys, this is Sane here, and welcome to a new Let's Play of A Memory of a Broken Dimension. Now, I might stutter up on my words here a little bit, because I'm actually having to overdub this uh, this recording, because the, the game audio was just way too loud in the recording, so you can barely hear me. So, I'm going to re-record it, just do a little commentary over it. So, this, this is an indie game, um, I don't know who it's developed by, actually, but as you can see, it starts off in a terminal. A little terminal that you have to end up hacking. Now, before we actually get into the hacking, I'll tell you what you need to type in, everything like that. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for um, for viewing our videos, for uh, subscribing, the ones our new subscribers that we gained. It's been about a week and a half, two weeks since um, the last recording that I posted, just because I had no internet. Um, I was I was moving, didn't have anything to do, but it sucks. But now I'm back, and I got to see the channel grow a little bit as I was as I was out and it uh, it means a lot guys so let's go ahead and get started and what we're gonna be doing with this with this hack alright so first off the first thing we're gonna type in is DIR now you see me type it in the first time and it says unknown command I don't know if it's supposed to do this but every time I did it I had to type it in twice for it to work there it goes it works a second time then it goes through this new text asks you to, to post another one Next one is remote. Bam. First try work. Go all through all this other shit. Shut down successful. Turn on some satellites and stuff. You know, all that cool hacking shit. Splinter Cell style. Now we're gonna type in the next one. Um, shit, I spelled this one multiple times. I forgot what it was. Void scan. B o i d s c a n. Say, come on. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Now we got one more that we're going to be doing. Now this last one is, you could actually probably hear me in the background. I still have the other audio in, it's just really quiet. But dive, D-I-V-E, and you're going to be able to dive into the game. Now I will say if um, you suffer from epilepsy or anything like that, you can probably be able to watch this video and play this game. But it is crazy. Ridiculous world like this. Now the the main point of this game, I'm gonna try to do some good commentary. You see that little line right there? It's a very faint little line. What you want to do, you want to stand. It kind of points in the direction. It comes up and goes at an angle. You stand on that line and look. You see how that rock flash? Then you're able to click and activate that to where you can actually jump on it and activate it. Now there's another one right here. Get that one up. Uh, the basic concept of this game is to just to be able to get across, solve these puzzles, get around. And this glitched out world, you're trying to rediscover these memories, I guess. I don't know. It's pretty damn cool, though. I like it. Now, there is going to be a lot of backtracking in this game. There's a bell jump right there. But there, there's going to be a lot of backtracking. Don't be afraid to run through the walls and go back to where you were. Because certain parts, you just um, you unlock areas to be able to get other areas. You'll see what I'm saying in a minute. Go on, saying you got to jump. No problem. No problem. Whoop. Whoop now we run through there. We got the first little room. Done. I'm really being a little hesitant on running through. Freaked out a little bit. Come on, don't be a pussy. Just go. Hey. commentary was a lot less in the actual um, 
the recording because I was lost trying to figure this out. It's pretty easy. It's easy once you get the hang of it to know that you're supposed to look for those times. I had no fucking idea. So I was just sitting around, roaming around doing that. Another level, another little room, activating it. See, all these are pillars that are up high, and it's going to take some, um, some backtracking. See, uh, there was only one line for me to unlock it, but I did unlock a leg so I can jump down and land on it. But I got to backtrack, unless this is new. Yeah, but I got to so I actually end up going all the way back to the first room in a minute, and I pretty much have to go through everything again, but I unlocked a whole new bunch of areas that I'd already done, so it was cool. I actually really enjoyed this game, I think it was, uh, it's interesting, you know, you don't see so many games that start off with hacking some terminal, that's literally how it starts, so you don't get any information on what you're supposed to do, nothing, you're just sitting on a terminal. See, I just fell down a little bit, actually. Uh, I think I, right here I missed the lid when I fell off. That's why, because I had it activated that one. Alright, so we're at this point, there's one more right there. I tried to... See, there was no way for me to activate that little ledge right there. Right in front of me, so I tried to jump on it, and I couldn't. That one right there. back around and you end up jumping on top of it. See, now I'm in the very first room that we were in. Jump up here. Now, instead of falling down through all those planes, I'm back up like this. Because I had just unlocked those. Going around solving some more puzzles, but uh, let's go ahead. Um, I'm pretty much said everything. I'll go ahead and just chit-chat with you guys. Um, thank you guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already said it in the intro, but I really wanted to thank Actually, having people communicate with you, um, and there's been lots of people liking our videos. We had a couple of dislikes, um, which, if you don't like the video, that's fine. But I would actually like if you told us why you didn't like the video, um, let us know what we did wrong so that we can actually fix it. But no big deal. So some more puzzles. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have internet for a week, and I'm just sitting on my phone every once in a while. I'll check it, and I will have like five new. Why is, why is this happening now when I can't post any more videos? But, whatever. I'm back now. This will be the first video. I'm not going to do a, a series with this just because it's just in demo form right now. I probably should have said that earlier. Um, it, yeah, it's in demo form. You can't play the full thing yet. So this is just a little trial run. I do believe that there's supposed to be some kind of um, enemy in the, the full game. I don't know exactly what it is, um, if it's a big monster chasing you around, but I think that that's going to be really creepy. Especially since this game tells you no information whatsoever. You're just thrown in and kind of figure it out. Now imagine some big ass static monster that you can't really see. That would be awesome. I was actually getting scared just because I would actually hit a wall and do that and make that noise and shit.
has to be that too. Opa! Oh. You can see it, it flash, and I don't know if you can hear it, I had to turn down the main volume quite a bit. But it actually makes a ding! Like uh, some sort of little noise when you hit onto those lines. And that's how you know that you can, you need to start looking around, looking for any of those rocks to flash. Because that's what you need to activate. Yeah, this bucket fell all the way down. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. But you can see lines through the wall. At first I didn't know what those lines were far away. But if you walk towards them, it just teleports you to another room. But um, what I actually noticed is that those lines lead to all the places that you have to activate. this game ends, the little blue screen of death to pick you out, which is another thing that really brings you into, it makes you feel like you're just, you're hacking it, you know, you're coming in and you're just fucking with someone's shit, but uh, it's not a virus or anything, you don't have to be worried about that, um, but this is the time for me to say my outro, this is saying, signing out for Satan and Maxim. Please leave a like and subscribe, it helps us out a lot. Also, if you guys have any other recommendations for games you'd like to see us play, let us know in the comments section. Now, I will say that uh, Raxon is in the, the middle of an Outlast series. He's going to be posting that up. There actually should be a video of that posted already. Um, then this weekend, I think, is when Amnesia comes out. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that one as well. So it's going to be a full week of horror, horror fun fest getting ready for October, right? Alright guys, be sure to check us out in those videos, and we'll see you there.